Hi Virgo, welcome to the Manifesting You YouTube channel. This is your May 2016 love and relationship uh, reading. I just want to emphasize this is a general reading for, for Virgo, for the sign of Virgo for the month of May. If it does not resonate with you, please check out your moon or your rising sign because that can give you more insight. Also, if you need more specific insight into your personal situation, check out my website below. I do offer personalized readings. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, Virgo, this first card is going to represent your energy and what your hopes, expectations, and fears are for love in the month of May. The center card is going to represent the obstacle to be overcome. And the third card is going to represent the realization or the outcome. So for your position um, and your hopes and fears, we have the reversed hanged, hanged one or hanged man or hanged woman. So what I'm picking up on here for Virgo and not for all, for some of you, I feel that as a Virgo, you are probably a very helpful person by nature. Um, you probably care at times more for others well-being than your own. Um, and you know, this is, you know, your gift, you're a giver, you are a helper, you, you, you're meant to be of service and in the right person, they're going to appreciate that quality. But you know, what's funny is that, you know, the Virgo wants to help and fix and, you know, figure things out and analyze and correct it. But if it gets into the wrong person or the wrong hands, or, um, you know, if you want to fix the wrong or fix a person that does not want to be fixed, therein lies the problem. So what I feel is that some Virgos are, because this is almost like a double hanged man. I mean, the hanged man upright isn't the best energy because it's kind of like a, just a stuck energy or an energy where it's like, you're not even moving. So when you have it in reverse, it's like, it's almost that you, some Virgos here, they already know that they, the, the person or the situation that they've been hanging on to is not going to work, but they're not giving into that. They're not going to give it up. And they are just literally willingly being in like bondage or putting themselves on hold in this situation. It's it, because there's a willing, there's a willingness to it. Whereas the hanged man, it might just be indecision when it's reversed. It's like some Virgos are willingly sacrificing themselves. Um, I'm really getting a sense of, you know, and, and a lot of times this can be, you know, it's an admirable thing where Virgo will sacrifice themselves for someone to help them or to, you know, further a goal. I feel the issue is here though, that some Virgos are sacrificing themselves beyond what's healthy really. And that some of these people are not worth the sacrifice and that this relationship or, you know, for those of you that are hoping for a relationship or in a relationship, it's been, it, it's like, there's a, there hasn't wanted to be an acceptance of what the truth of the relationship is. And I feel like a lot of you are just you're not going to move. You're not going to accept it. Like you're not going to accept that it's not going to work, even if it's not working. Um, and even, and the crazy thing is, is this is kind of like your hopes and your fears all tied up in this card because your hope is that somehow just by hanging there, it's going to work out. Like somehow, you know, it, this situation is going to resolve. Um, but that's also your fear. And that's why you're kind of like immobilized because you really can't move at this point. Like there's, I feel like there's no option for you to move. There's really nothing that you can do. You've already tried everything under the sun and it hasn't been working. 
but yet some of you are still holding on to this situation and you know that it's not good for you. You know that you're not happy deep down inside, but it's so past that point. Um, and this is not for all, okay? So if this isn't resonating for all Virgos, but this, this is just a strong message that I'm getting. So this is only for those that it's resonating with. So if it's not, that's no worries at all. You know, just go ahead and bypass this. Um, yeah, it, I'm just, I'm sensing self-sacrifice, uh, denial, and literally like, you know, sacrificing for a cause that has not yielded a reason or, you know, value or worth to be sacrificed for or person. Um, I know it's heavy stuff, Virgo. I'm sorry. It's heavy stuff. Um, okay. So as far as what the obstacle is, we have the three of cups. So, you know, and the three of cups is normally about like partying and being with friends and doing lots of socializing and activities. So the fact that that's an actual obstacle, I'm picking up that, you know, I mean, Virgo, I just feel like you're exhausted. Like you're so exhausted by this situation. You're just, you don't even care anymore. You're just like, I'm here, I'm hanging. I'm not moving. I don't care what you say to me at this point. I, you know, it is what it is. Like you don't even really care. Like you're just, but you're still in this place, um, of bondage. I mean, um, but you're like unable to move and it's probably just because you're exhausted because you've given beyond what is normal and beyond what is, you know, really healthy. Um, so the challenge is, is you're just energetically, you're just not in that place to, you know, go party and be merry and drink and hang out and go to all these parties and, um, that's the obstacle right now, because this also kind of represents like emotional abundance and emotional, you know, just your cupeth overfloweth. And I don't feel like emotionally you're feeling that way. I feel like you're almost kind of just apathetic or just kind of numbed out. Like, I mean, I do feel like whatever the situation is, you're still hoping against all odds that it's going to work out. And there is, you know, with the reverse hangman, there is a sign that you, the worst is over and that the energy is shifting. So, um, cause it starts out as the hangman, it reverses in the hangman. So you might be just about set free, but as far as whether this relationship or this person is going to be that one that's finally going to work, I'm not sure about that. But what I know is that this is a catalyst for change that change is inevitable even if you've been putting off or avoiding it eventually the universe is going to force you out of this position um, and change will have to be made a choice a decision will have to be made because this is about not wanting to make a decision um, and and this is almost like being aware that you should have made a decision probably a long time ago but refusing to make the decision and probably because the, the feelings and the emotions are just so painful um, I'm sensing for some Virgos that a lot of whoever this person is or whoever this relationship has been is that this is karmic. It's like, there's like a deep emotional, there's deep stuff going on. There's more than just meets the eye. And I think that that's why you've sacrificed yourself so much for this person because you felt like there was a deeper purpose for it, a deeper reason, a deeper spiritual purpose, and that you were willing to put aside your happiness, your self gratification, because you believed in the long run, it would really help this person. And I want to say Virgo that that's very commendable. And I want you to know that you're an amazing soul. So if you have, you have been suffering with this situation, I just, I want to put out my sympathies to you. Um, but at the end of the day, you deserve to be happy and, you know, love, you know, love is long suffering, but <laughs> you don't want to suffer forever. And I feel like, you know, that I feel like with a hanged man, you are still waiting on whatever the situation is. Like, I feel like you're willing to wait a little bit longer, but you know that you're not going to wait forever. You know that, but you are in suspense. You are, you have put things on hold, um, for this person or for this relationship. 
You've even put like your own just happiness. I feel like a lot of you are just probably busying yourself with work and just you're working your little tushies and tails off. Um, and you just haven't really been in the mindset, some of you, to just go out and do the party, emotional, you know, friends. It, you just might be a little bit more focused on your own path right now and just working and, um, which is not a bad thing. Um, so th I'm seeing this basically, Virgo, your, your emotional happiness is the challenge right now. And I feel the reason for that is, is because your emotions are so tied up in whatever the situation has been with either this relationship that you're in or hoping to be in or have been in, whatever the situation is that has you just literally willingly suspended in, in a limbo. You know, I mean, how can you, if you're in that place for so long, it's pretty tough to just be your full abundant, happy self. So that is where this is going to be a challenge. Um, and then I want to get to the outcome here. Uh, we have the King of Cups in reversed. So, oh man, I know. It's like, this is hardcore. Uh, the King of Cups in reversed, I mean, on the, on the upright position, this is like the guy you want to be with, okay? <laughs> this is like the romantic, loving you know, king who like is balanced and protective and looks out for you and wants love and marriage. When he's reversed, he's an a-hole. Okay. He's, um, he can't be trusted. He is not what he appears. He's not what he seems. He's unstable. So this could mean a couple of different things. Um, this person that you are, you know, waiting for or whatever, um, it, you know, cause it's going to, there's so many different situations. I pick up on different energies, but this, for some of you, this person that you are hoping for, he or she, they're basically emotionally unstable Virgo. And that's probably why you have been in limbo for so long because you're waiting for this person that is unstable emotionally. This person is very needy. Uh, they're codependent. They need a lot of affirmation. They, um, They can't handle criticism or indifference. They need to have self reassurance all the time. They could be controlling, manipulative. They can kind of be narcissistic. So, you know, and, and that's where there's a little bit of caution here, Virgo, for some of you that you really just need to protect yourself. I mean, you know, with God, all things are possible. So I'm not saying that this relationship cannot be favorable in the end or the situation. But there is some caution here because when you have the King of Cups in reverse with the Three of Cups as a challenge, this is saying that there's more than one person involved. So I also want you to realize that, that this King, you're probably not the only, or Queen, you're probably not the only one, the only lover. Um, and you probably already know this. You probably already know this, but... My point is, is that this, this thing that has been kept to you in limbo for so long is complicated and you, you know that, and that's why you're just hanging out here. You're just hanging out here because you know, it's complicated. You know that this person has issues. You still love them. You still want to help them and you still want to fix them. And you still hope that somehow, you know, by the grace of God, it will come together. Um, but I just but there's also a lot of denial and there's also, um, a kind of an unwillingness for some Virgos to feel their feelings. And I feel like for some of you, this is, this is propelling addictions, um, you know, denial or just these feelings are so and painful and intense that, you know, it's easier not to feel them. It's easier not to feel them. And, um, there's going to come a time Virgo where you're going to have to feel, you're going to have to feel them. You're going to have to accept the reality of the situation and who this person is and, um, make a choice. And it's either going to, the universe is either going to make that force you to do that, or you're going to do that, but you might be fine with the universe forcing you. You just may be like, I can't do it. I cannot make the choice. I've tried to pull away from the situation. I've tried to not care about this person, but you just do. <clears throat> so 
what I want you to know, Virgo, is that in this, that like, there's hope for you and that you may feel that like, you might have kind of lost like faith in, you know, in optimism and love. Like, you're just like, you've put forth all this sacrifice for this person who has not appreciated it, who has not recognized it, who has not, you know, reciprocated it. In fact, who has just hurt you and, you know, stabbed your heart with other lovers or whatever, or, you know, emotional instability or manipulation. Um, and you might just feel like, what has it all been for? So what I want to tell you is that, you know, there is karma. There is the wheel of fortune in the sense that things come and things go and eventually wrongs will be made right. Um, just do the best you can. I can't like force you to say, you know, fix yourself, heal yourself, feel your feelings, because if you're not ready to do that, you're not ready to do that. It is what it is. I just want you to be aware that this is kind of the message that Virgos are getting in general. And your situation might be totally different, but <clears throat> this was just a powerful message that has come through. So I feel that some Virgos need to hear this. Um, let's, let's get a different message, a little bit more uh, clarity here. <clears throat> What is the healing message for Virgo to help this situation, to give them clarity, healing, and love and light in their relationships, in their love life for the month of May? Okay, Virgo, so we have opened up and let's read what the message is. Open up. The keywords here are withdrawal, blocks, control, and release. It says sometimes past sorrows cause you to withdraw both from your emotions and from other people as a way of preventing further pain. However, this closing up or shutting down prevents a free flow of energy from and to you, interfering with the ability of the universe to fulfill your desires. When this card appears, it suggests that you may have blocked or closed off your energy field in some way. Have you let sadness or fear prevent you from moving forward into more satisfying, loving relationships? Release this blocking energy by working with affirmations, prayers, and asking God. The more you open up your energy field, the sooner you will receive what you desire. Also, watch out for the need to control. For any relationship to thrive, the energy must be free-flowing. Everyone must have the right to self-expression. When you open yourself up, you allow your relationships to grow and evolve. Wow, that really, <laughs> that's really powerful. Um, I also want to say, let's see, the color red here is related to the root or the base chakra, and it relates to uh, passion, love, enthusiasm, boldness, vitality, power, confidence, courage, and anger. And the number four uh, represents dependability, sincerity, honesty, patience, integrity, structure, stagnation, or limitations. So, wow. I mean, the, it's funny, Virgo, because like, I felt like this message was so powerful and so intense. And I was like, man, I mean, I know this can't be for all Virgos, but I feel like this just confirms that sometimes sorrow or something from your past or present or whatever the situation is, it's just like, it, you can only take so much as a human being. And at some point you just withdraw. And I feel a lot of you, you know, and you have a right to hurt and be closed off. You have a right to do that based on what you've been through. Um, because you just don't want to feel the pain or go through any more pain. But the issue is, is that, you know, God loves you and he wants to bless you and give you great things. And so I feel that he's encouraging you to, you know, as you can, you know, maybe for the rest of this month, just start working on opening up in little ways, you know, letting your emotions come to the surface as you can and doing affirmations, praying, um, you know, doing meditation, walking in nature, just doing things that kind of start getting you in touch with some of those feelings so that you can work on the, letting them come to the surface and letting them go. And that will allow the energy to start to flow so that if you need to let go of someone or something, 
you know, in time you'll be able to do that. So I really hope this has been helpful for you, Virgo. Um, if you need more clarification, like I said, uh, check out my website below for a specified reading for your personal situation. But if it has helped, I would so appreciate it if you would like, subscribe to this channel to ensure that you get the monthly readings, the tips and tools on how to manifest and be your highest and best self. Thank you so much for watching Virgo and you have a beautiful rest of your day.